Welcome back to a new video lecture and in this lecture we discuss a very new topic and a very new subject that is engineering geology. So actually in this course we mainly discuss what is the importance of this engineering geology in our civil engineering field or why we are studying this course and next the different properties related with minerals, rocks and then water like all those things we will discuss. In your 2019 scheme also, actually it is divided into five modules. So here it is clearly mentioned what all those outputs you will achieve after completing this course. So it is clearly mentioned regarding those things like this surface process, subsurface, then minerals, rocks, groundwater, all those things. Then related with the different factors in civil engineering constructions. So actually. Uh, these courses will provide a f the fundamental concept related with the earth or the soil okay in the construction purpose how it is going to be how you can use this theoretical concepts into practicals all those things we will discuss so if you know some idea regarding how this soils properties is then only you can able to or then you can able to easily able to check out the stability of that particular soil so all those things we will discuss okay and regarding this course it is purely theoretical subject so my humble request to you please read the textbooks clearly note down the points then revise it okay try to make short notes and then revise revise then only you can able to very clearly and easily write down the points to the exam to the exam point of view if you go through the theoretical portions or the notes then you have to divide them into very short notes otherwise the, the syllabus is very huge actually you have to study a lot of times related to the minerals rocks like all those things so <coughs> study the concepts or study the lectures very clearly and write down the notes then revise it then it the subject is very easy okay then the importance of this subject in our competitive exams in the ca case of kerala psc like overseer exams some questions may ask okay related with the tenses or rocks some properties is related to the rocks or some minerals some tenses related to the surface water aquifer like all those things so actually in the case of exams or in the competitive exam point of view this subject plays a very small role so if you during the course if you study very clearly then it is very fine okay then before going to the topic let us move on to the syllabus so actually in this case also five modules so just go through the five modules in a very fast so in the first module, the basic, uh, the, what is the purpose of this engineering geology in the civil engineering field that we will discuss very clearly. Then coming to the next case that is weathering of rocks. What do you mean by weathering of rocks? Different types of weathering, all those things. Is. Then the landslides. Actually, these times are very, very clear to you. What do you mean by landslide? How it is going to be happened? All those things. Is. So we will discuss all these things in the upcoming lectures then coastal process cost how can you protect the coastal regions all those things that's regarding the first module the coming to the second module related with earthquakes okay how this earthquakes happened or what are the phenomena behind this earthquakes all those things then third module it is fully related with the groundwater that is hydrogeology the terms is like aquifer like all those things are very important okay so those things we will discuss later then <clears throat> coming to the module 4 it will discuss two terms that is mineralogy and petrology the study of rocks that is called petrology minerals it is called mineralogy so those things is some names you have to find out okay those terms are here so these terms are very important then com <clears throat> coming to module 5 it is purely structural geology means in the analysis of rocks we go through how the rocks is in the deep into very deep we will discuss all those things so
so regarding test books you can follow up a test book called parabin singh so that is very good okay so you can follow parabin singh test book or sk dukal like those test books are very good for this engineering geology okay so that's regarding the your course this engineering geology okay then moving on to our topic that is what is engineering geology as you know it is the application of geological data techniques principles to the study of rock soil and groundwater already i mentioned that in this subject we discuss the different characteristics or different properties of rock soil and groundwater okay so this engineering geology features you the different cases or different conditions available to the study of rock soil etc okay and this is very essential for the proper location planning design construction operation and maintenance of engineering structures so please visualize please visualize a structure you have to construct a building let us take an example a building you have to construct so in the initial phase itself we need to check out the quality of soil since the foundation is going to happen over the soil okay if the foundation is very strong only then the superstructures can be hold down very stable isn't it so the properties of soil to be studied very carefully okay okay that's case so what does engineering geology study already i mentioned this times is rock soil water all those things is and this engineering materials and structures how this all will be connected actually the times is let us take if you divide geology actually it is a study of earth science related with our air sciences we deals in this case so here it is divided into some categories that is physical geomorphology mineralogy petrology historical geology economic geology so many terms so many classifications like mineralogy this study of minerals if you have some minerals then it study means how deeply we focus on those things petrology means the study of rocks so that's a, a cat if you divide into different characteristics or different categories okay that's the thing then coming to the very important topic why we are studying this engineering geology or what is the importance of this engineering geology in our civil engineering field three important things is please note down three important things is first one is in the construction jobs planning designing and construction the second one is in water resource development and in town last one is in town and the regional planning okay so already i, I mentioned the term in the construction let us visualize a building construction is important how it is going to be planned designed and constructed okay so let me tell you one more thing during exams if you write down these three points and move on to the next question the mark for this particular question is if let us assume 10 marks if you write on these three points and skip to or move on to the next question you only get very few marks okay so you have to elaborately write down okay the main points is to be highlighted and you have to write down in very detail each points to be explained very clearly then only you will get the marks okay that's the exam point of view so in the case of construction jobs and in the case of water resource and in town and regional planning we are discussing very detail okay so okay fine so actually if you observe clearly the basic objectives of this course in engineering geology can be classified into two cases okay actually what's the purpose into two points is it enables the civil engineer to understand the engineering implications of certain conditions related to the area of construction which are essentially geological in nature already i mentioned the construction of a building if you want to construct that building over a particular soil or a particular condition you have to check out the soil properties then only the construction to be started okay so since we don't we do not know what's the present conditions of that particular soil so you have to go and check out those properties second it enables a geologist to understand the nature of geological information 
that is absolutely essential for a safe design and the construction of civil engineering project for the safe design or the for the safe construction the geological properties of the earth where the construction to be started to be defined okay otherwise if you construct some soils its stability is very low and if you construct the foundations and the superstructure is over the particular foundation after some period of time it may collapse okay then the engineer is the only uh, or <coughs> the people who is behind will answer to that particular case okay so these two points is mainly this engineering geology after this courses can enables the study of those properties is okay then lot of things are mentioned here okay then coming to the next case the construction jobs so let us take full geological information about the site of construction and or the excavation about the natural materials of the construction is of paramount importance okay so the importance of soil and during the construction is discussed in this case so in the initial case this planning you have to plan out so in this planning you can clearly check out the topographic maps means topographic map means if you take a particular region how this area is going to be or what are the features or what are the possibilities of that particular area is going to be mapped out like this slope size contours okay like all those things can be mapped out that is called a topographic maps then second case hydrological maps related with the hydrological maps means related with the water what about the presence of water over that particular region like all those things can be check out then the third case that is called geological maps means the actually you have to check out the rock surface or rock properties over the particular earth surface okay that is called the geological maps then coming to the design aspect of this construction you can clearly check out the role of geological information can hardly be overemphasized okay so let us take an example if, if you construct a dams or any bridges in this cases the design to be finalized by taking out the soil conditions very important that's the main thing the soil properties to be check out okay then only you have to move on to the next stage okay then some of the geology characteristics that have a direct or indirect bearing upon the design of proposed project are some of the how this influence geological properties how it influence directly or indirectly all those things are discussed here okay then moving on to the next stage that is construction so in the case of construction it is clearly mentioned during the actual execution of a civil engineering project geological knowledge is of great value to an engineer in the selection and the proper use of right type of materials of right construction of construction de derived from the natural bedrock soils banks okay so it is clearly the term is clear the selection and the proper usage the materials which you are going to choose out and the site which you are going to choose out that all places a very vital role okay in any constructions all those things are very important so so please go through the lecture and summarize the points i am not going into very deep these are the main points you have to keep in mind out the first one is the construction construction of any structure or any building properties like all these things how this to be evaluated that is mentioned clearly through points then coming to the next case that is geology and water resource development how it influence the water resource development study of water cycle is an essential prerequisite for effective planning and execute major water resource development programs on national and regional levels so the water cycle to be study out means how or what is the presence of the water over that particular region to be study out and then move on to the different case studies okay so that's a case related with the geology in water resource development 
then the next case that is geology in town and regional planning if you want to build up or if you have a region if you have a region and you have to build up a good town planning you have to provide so many construction to be happen then only a proper town planning to be happen only isn't it so for that cases the area to be evaluated the soil to be evaluated and the stability of soils to be evaluated so those things is to be evaluated and finally you have you can able to develop this town planning in a very proper way so that's the case regarding with this town planning okay so the scope of civil engineering in geology can be classified into three cases first one is con construction then water resource then last one is town planning okay so please go through this lecture once and please write down the points is very clearly then you'll please make it very short in your in your own words if you make it then you won't forget it okay that's the case then moving on to the next topic rock weathering what do you mean by weathering i think you have studied these things in your very small classes isn't it what do you mean by weathering it's a disintegration of break or the breakdown of rock materials due to various phenomena happened in our earth so that's a disintegration a big rock is being disintegrated into very small parts that's called the weathering this can happen to through various cases okay so that is called the different types of weathering that we will discuss so this weathering can be classified into three cases that is first one is mechanical second one is chemical last one is biological so these are the different phenomena involved in the weathering processes so in the case of mechanical weathering the first one is frost action second one is thermal effect unloading chemical weathering solution hydration hydrolysis oxidation reduction carbonation colloid formation plants human activities so these are the different things has happened over the different that, that is the mechanical chemical and biological weathering so all those things as we will discuss in the next class regarding how this frost action happened to the rock to disintegrate or how the thermal effect temperature effects happen to disintegrate the rock into the small parts or the unloading then the chemical reactions over this particular rock surface then biological weathering so all those things as we will discuss in the later sections so my humble request to please revise the topics very cl clearly and write down the points is short in your own words then it will be very fine so i hope the section is clear and with this we wind up today's section thank you